Hello everyone, you're watching College Review Series by Akash. And today it's time for Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. So come and let's explore what all does the campus include, how high goes the cutoff, the amazing placements, fee structures, scholarships and a lot more. So all in all, if you want a 360 degree review of IIT Delhi, then stay with me till the end. Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi is one of the 23 IITs created to be centers of excellence for training, research and development in science, engineering and technology. Initially, IIT Delhi was established as a college of engineering in 1961, but later it was declared as an institution of national importance. Talking about its ranking in 2023, then IIT Delhi was ranked third in the overall category and second in the top engineering colleges by NIR. Internationally, IIT Delhi was ranked 174th by QS World University ranking and 46th in Asia. Let's talk about its wonderful campus. The primary campus of IIT Delhi is located in Hoskar, South Delhi, with Sonipat and Jhajjar being the two satellite campuses. The campus of 325 acres is surrounded by the monuments such as Qutub Minar and Lotus Temple. The IIT campus is divided into four zones. First, student residential zone, faculty and staff residential zone, which includes hostel, mess and shopping complex for students, faculty and staff members. The third one is student recreational area, which includes the student activity center, football stadium, cricket ground, basketball courts, hockey field, lawn tennis courts and swimming pool and the fourth one is academic zone that includes laboratories department offices lecture theaters central library and workshops the iit offers a wide range of btech mtech and doctoral courses with 1209 seats for the engineering students there is a long list of courses offered in various branches of engineering Now let's find out how you can get admission in one of these courses at IIT Delhi. So for all the students who are seeking admission in one of these branches need to fulfill the eligibility criteria and follow the admission process, which includes, first of all, you need to pass class 12th board examination with physics, chemistry, mathematics as your major subjects with 75% marks if you are a general category student, whereas for ST, SC and PWD category students, 65 is the required percentage. Secondly, you must clear J at once. Further, the students will register themselves for JOSA counseling. And for foreign students, they get selected through DASA, which is Direct Admission of Students Abroad. Now, let's quickly talk about the fee structure as well. So, here is the consolidated fee structure for all the different categories. Fee for the first semester for general or OBC candidates with family income greater than 5 lakh amounts to be 1 lakh 22,400. This includes expenses such as tuition fee, one-time payment, other charges, refundable caution deposit. The sum also includes the amount that you pay at the time of seat allotment during JOSA counselling. Hence, the total fee for the entire BTEC from IIT Delhi comes around between 8 lakh to 10 lakh for general candidates. For candidates who belong to different categories, get remission of tuition fee, whereas they still have to pay other expenses. So now is the time for placements. Talking about for the class 2024, as for the media report, class of 2024 at IIT Delhi bagged around 1050 job offers that includes pre-placement offers as well. Now, out of these 1000 plus placements, more than 50 were offered international posting by around 20 international organizations from countries like Hong Kong, Japan, the Netherlands, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan and the United Arab Emirates. So, the top recruiters in this phase included Air India, Microsoft, Texas Instruments, Goldman Sachs, Bajaj Auto, Ola Electrics and many more with 42% placement rate from the core technical sector itself. In addition, the IIT also offers certain scholarships to its meritorious and economically weaker section students. So the scholarships include Merit and Means Undergraduate Scholarships, 
Now this one is for students with family income below 4,50,000 per annum and have a GPA of at least 6. The second one is Donor Supported Merit Come Means Scholarship. These scholarships are awarded to students who are required to pay the full tuition fee and have family income less than 9 lakh per annum. For this, students are selected based on their rank in J Advance. However, its continuation depends on their maintaining a CGPA of at least 7 at the end of each academic year. So the scholarship amounts to Rs 1 lakh per annum that covers half the tuition fee and award is for 4 years only. And there are certain other scholarships also which are awarded in the second year of their college. And the criteria for the selection of students for these scholarships is their academic and co-curricular achievement. For more information on scholarships, do visit the official website. Along with this, the IIT also offers certain fee waivers to its economically weaker section students, like 100% tuition fee waivers to its ST, SC and PWD category of the students for remission of the tuition fee for all the general and OBC candidates whose family income is less than 1 lakh per annum. Two-third of the remission of tuition fee for all the candidates whose family income is between 1 lakh to 5 lakh per annum. Now, if we talk about the fest at IIT Delhi, then there are quite a few fests conducted here at IIT Delhi. Three main annual festivals are The first one is Rendezvous, which is a platform for cultural explosion and global interaction. The second one is Potec, which is also known as Khelokha Mela. Now, this one is an action-packed extravaganza of games, food, fun and fervor. And the third one is Trist. Now, this one is an annual technical festival. The fest is an unparalleled opportunity for budding technologists to showcase their technical powers and act as the perfect launch pad for brilliant ideas. So with this, let's move on to some of the notable and distinguished alumni of IIT Delhi. The list is endless, so some of the alumni are Raghuram Rajan, Kiran Bedi, Chetan Bhagat, Sachin Bansal, Vinod Khosla and many more who have made their mark on global front. So to get a seat reserved at such a prestigious IIT requires a level of hard work too. So let's find out the rank requirement in J Advance based on the cutoff of last year that is 2023. So for civil engineering, the J Advance rank cutoff started at 2867 and closed at 4472 rank. For the computer science and engineering branch, the rank started at only 16 and closed at 118. Talking about the electrical engineering branch, this branch closed in 582 rank. For the energy engineering branch, the opening rank was 2072 and the closing rank was 2910. Here is the J Advanced Cutoff 2023 for other branches. For category wise cutoff information, do visit the link given below. So the top class IIT with all the world class facilities, infrastructure, placement, alumni network also provides a huge scope for entrepreneurial skills by boasting a culture of innovation, research and startup instincts. So by now, you all know what you need to do in order to reserve a seat here at IIT Delhi. So the very first thing is stop watching further college review videos and start preparing for your JE advance. And before that, don't forget to press the like and subscribe button so you do not miss out on any updates. For more such informative content, stay connected.